13.3, interpreting measures of center and variability. For each situation, you are given two graphs of data, a measure of center for each, and a measure of variability for each. Interpret the measure of center in terms of the situation, interpret the measure of variability in terms of the situation, and compare the two data sets. Okay, so I'm gonna do that for both, for all three. All right, so the heights of 40 trees in each of two forests are collected. And we're given the distribution in a dot plot format. We're given the mean and the standard deviation. Okay, so what does this mean mean? That's what they mean when that's what they mean when they say the measure of center. So mean is average. So really, it's just whatever the average of the units in the graph are. So average tree height A or B and that would be in feet. The standard deviation would be my measure of variability. So, um, you know, on average, things tend to be, you know, how far from the mean. Um, yeah, so I mean, we can see that because this is uh, 4.72 feet, you know, we have more compact data and here we got 7.87. It's a little bit more spread out. So compare the two data sets. Um, if we have a mean of 56 here and then a mean of 44.8 here, that tells me that forest B is taller. Forest A. Uh, the standard deviations tell me that Forest B, if I compare them right, we see Forest B has a greater standard deviation than Forest A. Forest B tree heights vary more. Forest A. All right. <clears throat> number two. The number of minutes it takes Lynn and Noah to finish their test in German's class is collected for the year. So why don't you try and write like a, a quick summary for this data? What does the means tell you? What do the standard deviations tell you about Lynn and Noah? How can you compare their results? Okay, so both of them are actually pretty spread out, although Noah's is more, it has a higher standard deviation, um, and their means are pretty close. So we can say that on average, Lynn spent about a minute more than Noah on the test. his mean is about one more than Noah's mean. We can also say that Noah's results were more variable. So Noah was less consistent with how much time he spent. Even though Noah's got a higher, I mean, uh, Lynn has a higher mean than Noah. Noah took 41 minutes twice, 42 minutes once. Lynn never took either of those amounts of time. So if you came into the class one day, you might think Noah takes way longer or just takes longer than Lynn. But in actuality, Lynn takes longer than Noah. So I mean, it, it would depend on the day, depend on the test, depend on the subject. Or I guess it's German class, so what kind of test it was, vocab or grammar. <clears throat> number three. I guess I gotta zoom out for this. All right, the number of raisins in a cereal with a name, brand, and the generic version of the same cereal are collected for several boxes. 
right, so we got name brand and generic. So this is probably like Raisin Bran, the pink, uh, the purple box you see in the grocery store. And then generic cereal, anyone can make, you know, um, cereal and throw raisins in it. It's not like a, they've got a monopoly on the recipe. <clears throat> you will notice, that actually it's kind of crazy. It, I've, I've read that there are many products that the generic and the name brand are made in the exact same factory. They just put them in different boxes and they always charge more for brand, right? It always costs more for like Coke and Pepsi than it does the whatever type of soda they have at uh, the grocery store um, besides them. But if they're made in the same factory, they're exactly the same, but we're gonna look at this example. Maybe they're not always the same. So if I compare their means, um, well, first of all, take a look at these graphs, take a look at the um, mean and standard deviation, how would you interpret the differences between these two? All right, so I mean, I can just tell by looking at these, which is sort of nice about a histogram, that this is wider than this one. Um, they use the same scale, so it is nice I can compare them like that. Um, so I can see that this is more of a spread. One thing I don't like about these two is you see the scale here goes up to six, scale here goes up to eight. So even though this is about the same height, if you were to put them side by side, this has a higher scale, so it's going up higher than this one. So I think that is that is sort of misleading um, about this uh, about these two graphs, which I don't really appreciate. So if you were making you know comparing two boxes of cereal, I would I would not use a, a display like this. I at least make the scales the same. All right, but anyways, you should be able to tell that the average, the middle for this uh, brand cereal on average has more raisins than generic. So on average, brand has more raisins. And we can clearly see that the number of raisins varies more in generic. It's got a wider spread and the standard deviation is far greater 26 compared to about 20 okay that is all for 13.3 have a great day